Welcome to our channel. Thank you for joining. We are Brazil Twins. I'm Sheila. I'm Cheryl. And welcome back. Welcome back. And thanks so much for everyone who subscribed and who's commented and viewed our channel. Exactly. So we right. really thank you. So, but we're back today uh, with a request from John who asked us thank to John. make uh, meatloaf. So we're going to uh, make some meatloaf for you today. A vegan meatloaf. Vegan meatloaf. Right. And before we get started, for those of you who are just not watching our channel, if you haven't liked, shared, or subscribed to our channel, please do so. And always make comments, we will reply. If you have any special requests, let us know and we'll do a video for you. Exactly. All right, so this is a vegan meatloaf and so we're gonna get started. And um, we're doing a double recipe here. Double? Double. <laughs> uh, and so we're using Beyond Ground um, plant-based meat here. We've already opened the package here. You can use Beyond or Impossible, whichever one you prefer. And we're just gonna go ahead and, and get going. So I'm gonna use my gloves. Cheryl's gonna use her gloves and I'm going to scoop in. So Cheryl, you tell me what you want first. Okay, let's do onions. So this is a half a cup of onions. You can do bell peppers too, but we just do onions today. Um, let's do salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. Okay. Um, bread crumbs. So the recipe calls for bread crumbs, but we decided that we were gonna go old school, old fashioned, how grandma used to do it. Um, toast, two two pieces, two slices of bread, and crumble them up. And we're gonna put it in there. That's how grandma used to do it. Yes. Back in the day they didn't have bread crumbs. Oh they did. Um, they just didn't buy it. Yeah, exactly. What else? Um, let's do the, um, uh, what's that, garlic powder and onion powder. Worcestershire, is that right? Yeah. Worcestershire sauce. And then the ketchup. Now what about the egg? Oh, okay, so what we're doing is, is that because we're vegan, we don't want to use a real egg, so we're using just egg. And three tablespoons of just egg, egg is equivalent to one egg. So we use six teaspoons, tablespoons, tablespoons, tablespoons of just eggs, which equals two eggs. Some people use flaxseed, but we're using just egg. Uh -huh. And then um, the ketchup. The ketchup. You can use ketchup or tomato sauce. I like ketchup. And Cheryl has her gloves, so she's going to mix all that together. I'm going to mix it. Get in there. Do your thing. Exactly. And basically with the vegan meatloaf, you can use your same regular meatloaf recipe. Just substitute um, the ground beef for vegan plant-based meat and uh, your egg substitute. Um, so just we're doing it the same way our grandmother did it. This was her recipe uh, So we liked it and we know you're gonna like it as well Okay uh, We want to form this into a patty you want your pan Sheila Gloves are coming up So we want to form this into a, a, a patty a loaf We want to make this look like a loaf of bread. And the good thing about um, beyond beef is that it does not shrink. So what you see here is really what you're going to get for the outcome once it bakes. So we're baking this at 350 for how long, Sheila? 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Um, but definitely check your um, check your oven depending on how fast or how slow your oven cooked. It may take a little longer or a little less. 
All right, and so we're gonna ready to put the sauce on? No, no, we put the sauce on afterwards. Okay, we're gonna put the we're gonna put this in the oven for about thirty minutes, and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna put this yummy sauce on top of it. Yes. After about 30 to 35 minutes in the oven at 350 degrees, we added the um, what glaze. You, the glaze on top. And Cher, what's the recipe for the glaze? So in the glaze is ketchup, brown sugar, and about six drops of white vinegar. Now again, I don't have the actual recipe. I did it the way my, I saw my grandma do it. And uh, you have to make it to your texture. You know, some people like it sweet, some people don't. So make it to your tasting. And then once I put the glaze on there, I put it back in the oven on broil for about two to three minutes. Watch it just in case your oven cooks faster. You might need a little bit extra time. So now we're gonna let's taste it. We're gonna taste it, see what it tastes like. All right, we're ready to taste the meatloaf. You cut you see how the consistency is? good the kids gonna enjoy this for dinner they've been waiting all day what 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 are some sides you add to this Cheryl um, we're gonna do um, mashed potatoes and green beans I need to go ahead and put green beans on now a great Sunday dinner dinner so you definitely have to try this let us know your thoughts we're sure you'll be happy with it don't forget to like share and subscribe to our channel if you have any suggestions about the dishes that you want us to um, create for you. Um, shoot us an email, shoot us a text. Enjoy. Thank Bye. you.